The premise of the novel The Power by Naomi Alderman is to explore a dystopian world in which women have more power than men. The story begins when young girls all over the world start developing skeins, which are electrical power sources embedded in their collarbones. The girls have the ability to wield this power to control others' nervous systems and to electrocute objects. Women use this newfound power to intimidate and gain control over the men of the world. They are now considered the stronger gender. The novel The Power by Naomi Alderman effectively addresses the destructive nature of power and the methods in which it is abused in religion, media, politics, and sex. To begin, women in the power seize control of religion in many parts of the world as a result of their newly acquired power. They provide an explanation for the power by saying it is God's gift to women. The primary character who uses her power to control religion is a young girl named Allie. Allie changes her name to Mother Eve and begins promoting God as a woman to her peers at a convent. Mother Eve's goal is to reverse the gender imbalance within religion by acknowledging a female god. In summary, religion is used as a control mechanism by women to establish order to the world's chaos and to influence the spiritual minds of the world's population. Additionally, the media is manipulated by women in order to limit how information is presented and therefore how it impacts its audience. News outlets, journalists' reports, and social media are all forums used to spread images and information about the power in order to influence the general public. Women in media control the content that is presented to the public and make an effort to only discuss the positive outcomes of the power. Ultimately, the creation of a knowledge barrier through the use of propaganda restricts the development of intellectual opinions, thus enabling women to skew the public's thoughts about the power. Similarly, women abuse their newfound political power by maneuvering legislation in their favor. One character in the novel who abuses her political power is Tatiana Moskalev. Following the death of her husband, the president of Moldova, Moskalev becomes the interim president. She forms a progressive country called Besapera that unanimously views women as the more powerful gender. In Besapera, men's freedom is severely restricted. Eventually, men require the stamp of their female guardian on their passport and they cannot drive, vote, or own a business. The novel also follows the story of Margot Cleary, an American politician. When making a decision regarding a potential war, she considers the bonus in her contract if North Star deployments around the world top 50,000 women this year. The bonus would buy her a private island. Cleary is a power-hungry individual who is driven by greed, so she does not hesitate to agree that instigating a world war is a good decision. To summarize, the women in the power manipulate politics to create legal barriers that control the livelihood of men and to make impulsive decisions that detrimentally impact the world. As a result of the power gained in religion, media, and politics, the women in the power are ultimately able to reverse the sexual power dynamic between genders. Prior to the discovery of the power, women were being sexually assaulted and used for sex trafficking. Once women acquire and learn to use their power, they obtain a sense of dominance in their sexual relations with men. However, this leads to many cases of women sexually assaulting men in order to prove their superiority. Overall, women in the power abuse their power in sexual relations with men, thus proving that power is corruptive. The exploration of the abuse of power within religion, politics, media, and sex in the novel The Power emphasizes the fact that the destructive nature of power is not gender-specific. The feminine subversion of traditional biblical beliefs unites women who possess the power and allows Mother Eve to influence society's opinion on powerful women. As well, the restriction of the public's access to knowledge limits the ways in which negative information about the power is spread. Furthermore, female politicians use both popular religious figures such as Mother Eve and propaganda to increase their likability in order to obtain more power. Finally, the culmination of these increases in spiritual, intellectual, and political power allows women to establish dominance in their sexual relations. Although the novel initially appears to be portraying a world in which there might be equality among genders, it quickly turns misandronistic. The continued abuse of power, even following its shift from men to women, clearly demonstrates how power corrupts its beholder, regardless of their gender.